Melania just shocked Donald with unexpected birthday surprise she'd been keeping secret for weeks. President Donald Trump has had a particularly rough week, especially on Thursday as he came under intense and unwarranted scrutiny during James Comey's testimony. Knowing the stress of the situation and that the liberals were desperately hoping this would lead to her husband's investigation, First Lady Melania Trump held out on some news she had for Trump, which she planned to surprise him with on his birthday next week. The 45th President of the United States is turning 71 years old on Wednesday, celebrating this special day for the first time in the White House. While being the leader of the greatest nation in the world is rewarding, it's been exceptionally challenging, especially with the number of people constantly plotting his demise. Despite all of this, Trump has managed very well, kept his promises, and worked hard to get the country back on track as he said he would. He's forged ahead through some of the hardest circumstances and deserves something special on his birthday, for which Melania has planned an unforgettable surprise. The First Lady couldn't do this on her own and called on the only people who could make her husband's birthday perfect with the incredible gift idea she had in mind. On the same day that Trump was coming under scrutiny in the Senate, Melania was calling on all of his supporters to do something for him that he would never forget. In an email that went out to his supporters, the First Lady asked everyone to sign something for him. The Jakarta Post reports, I need your help to make it a birthday my husband will never forget, Melania Trump wrote in an email to supporters. Her husband turns 71 on Wednesday. Our celebrations always include family and close friends. You have certainly proven yourself to be a loyal friend of my husband through your support of his positive vision to make America great again and your unwavering commitment to the Republican Party, the First Lady's email added. Friend, Donald will be glad to hear from friends like you who have meant so much to his and our party's success, her party plea continued. What's particularly great about this seemingly simple gift is that the First Lady knows that the best thing she can give her husband, is a few short words from his favorite people. Americans who have shown unwavering support for him during and after his campaign, and especially in this time of trial of those seeking his impeachment. The former president and his wife were more concerned with attention and adoration from celebrities, rappers, and their wives, and living that life, rather than the American people. This was proven in the number of White House parties they had which had exclusive guests lists of Hollywood bigwigs. The Trumps couldn't be more opposite and appropriate to run this country on the values it was built on, favoring family and citizens over celebrities. The best gift the president could get, along with this thoughtful card, is the vindication he received yesterday during Comey's testimony. Among a number of admissions that came out during the former FBU director's testimony yesterday was that Comey himself was the White House leaker. He essentially abused him position to work against the president. Former FBI Director James Comey admitted Thursday that he leaked information to the press about President Trump, despite saying leaks are always bad during his last public testimony in May, the Daily Caller reported. Also, this dishonest director was honest for once yesterday when he admitted that former Attorney General Loretta Lynch attempted to reframe the Hillary Clinton investigation. Comey came clean in his testimony that former A.G. Lynch told him to immediately stop calling the Hillary probe as an investigation or a probe and start referring to it simply as a matter, as to diminish the importance of it. At the conclusion of this long and stressful day, Trump announced what he's been wanting to say since the scrutiny into his claims about Comey began. He victoriously took the podium and said, the failed bitter voices in Washington will do everything in their power to stop us from this righteous cause. He then took the opportunity to blast his biggest detractors, the deep state, by saying, they will lie. They will obstruct. They will spread their hatred and their prejudice, but we will not back down from doing what is right, we are going to fight and win and have an unbelievable future and it's going to be together. That's not just a huge gift for him, but to the conservative movement who have supported our president. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.